Joël and Cosi live in Lomé, Togo. The two friends share a common goal to contribute to the development of their neighborhood by involving other inhabitants. Along with young entrepreneurs, they take part in Togo's first Fab Lab. Camille and Miriam live in France. Camille grew up in the city and dreams of setting up an organic vegetable farm. Miriam teaches in a primary school in a village of the Senimon region. She fears that the farmlands around the school will be turned into real estate. So they have both joined a Farmers and Citizens Association. Aminata and Faustin live in Kinshasa, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They live in the same neighborhood, far from the city center and with poor access to public services. Their daily struggle is to have access to drinking water. This is why they have joined the Users Association of their Drinking Water Network. Joël, Cossy, Camille, Miriam, Aminata and Faustin have very different lives and projects. And yet something brings them together. The commons. Commons are defined by the way users and citizens decide to manage resources together, setting up innovative rules, and pursuing a shared, specific goal. It may involve looking after a resource such as community gardens, which rehabilitate urban wasteland, or guaranteeing open access to a resource, such as Wikipedia, which gathers collective knowledge. Commons are also a philosophy that places values such as living together and the preservation of the environment above economic performance. Throughout the world, commons are sparked by the actions of committed and responsible citizens who wish to contribute to a global ecological and social transition. The Fab Lab in Lomé in which Joël and Cossy are involved is a space open to everyone. Shared digital tools are available. Young people from underprivileged neighborhoods come to develop their projects, to learn and to build together a new vision of their city. In Seine-et-Marne, the Farmers and Citizens Association has succeeded in acquiring the farmlands and rents them to Camille. This is thanks to citizen shareholders like Miriam who also buys Camille's products at the local village market. Together, they help mitigate the agricultural land crisis through sustainable land use. Aminata and Faustin actively participate in the provision of water to their neighborhood in Kinshasa. They negotiate prices, discuss network maintenance and drinking fountain management. The association also fuels social cohesion by offering spaces and events such as soccer match screenings. According to the Agence Française de Développement, France's key actor in sustainable development investment policy, commons are a vital issue. They invite everyone, citizens, governments, the private sector and NGOs to carry out development in an alternative fashion by supporting local dynamics and fostering collective intelligence. Because they convey new values because they make it possible to find solutions with citizens, as well as with public and private actors, because they place ecology and social cohesion as central concerns. Here and elsewhere, all around the world, commons are a multiple source of inspiration. 